Hi everyone, today's project is going to be these little paracord bell rope keychains. They're actually not too difficult to do. All you need to know is how to tie a diamond knot and how to do some half hitching. And I think they look pretty effective. This is going to need two pieces of paracord, one shorter piece that's 50 centimeters or around about 20 inches and a slightly longer piece that's 60 centimeters or around about 24 inches and I'm just going to start by taking the shorter piece. So with this shorter piece I'm going to tie a diamond knot and first of all I want to locate the center of my paracord and I'm just going to place that center over my middle finger and then form an overhand loop over the other strand. I'm going to pinch it off where it crosses and give that a half twist away from me. Then I'm going to take this other strand underneath and then weave it through the center over under, over. Now I can take this off of my hand. And I want to take this left hand leg right around and then up through the center of the knot and I want to take this right leg all the way around and also up through the center of the knot then I can grab those two legs and that upper loop and then draw the knot closed now I just need to start taking slack all the way through so I can start at one strand and then start pulling slack through the knot. And then once you get to where the loop is, just pull that loop in but leave a tiny loop here and we'll close that right down afterwards. So just pull this slack through till you get to the other side of the knot. Okay, I'm gonna go around one more time and then close this loop down as well. So the second time I go around to tighten this knot, when I get to this loop section, I just want to pull it down until that loop forms a tiny little button here at the top. And then I can just keep going around until the whole thing is tight. Once we've tightened up our diamond knot, we want to sort out how big we want our key ring and I'm going to make mine about 8 centimeters or so long. That's about 3 inches. And then we want to cut off the excess. So once we have our loop size sorted, we'll cut off the excess cord and we want to cut one leg short here and one leg long and you'll see why a little bit later so I'll just cut this other side off so we've got one long leg here and one short leg there and now we just want to fuse these two pieces together
So I'm going to get a lighter and then melt both edges. And then when both sides are molten, I just want to fuse those two pieces together. And then I'm going to roll that in between my fingers. Just careful because it can get pretty hot. So we have those two pieces fused now. Next I'm going to take my longer piece of paracord and I'm going to start by tying a half hitch right up against this diamond knot. I'm going to do that by coming behind these two strands here then behind and straight down that loop. Just a simple half hitch. Tighten that down and then just leave this leg down the center here because we're going to continue tying half hitches. So once we have our first half hitch done we're just going to continue with this longer strand now. I'm going to take that around the front behind and up through that loop Tighten that all the way down. Again, take it around the front. Up through that loop. Tighten that down. Around the front. Behind and up through that loop. And then we are just going to continue doing those half hitches until we get to the end here. So once you've done the half hitching to the end, all that's left to do is to cut this remaining piece off and then singe it with the lighter. So I'll go ahead and just cut that off. Just singe that end part there. And then just press it down. and you're finished. So this is what it looks like with an attached split ring. Please share this video because that allows me to keep making content for you guys. Thanks for watching.